Hi, I'm Kara from Karen Co Creative, and here on the channel, we do both done for you and DIY websites and all manner of online business systems. Today, I have a quick ConvertKit tutorial showing you how to embed a ConvertKit form onto a Squarespace website. Let me take you over my shoulder and we'll show you how to do that. So here I just have a demo website set up and you can see this is the MailChimp subscribe the newsletter feature. If you do not have or plan to use the Squarespace campaigns, or MailChimp, which is a native integration, then you need to use code to add the form to your site. Now, don't worry, it's not as complicated as it might sound. So if we come in to ConvertKit, all you need to do is grab a form. So to get here, we go to landing pages and forms. If you don't have a form already set up, you'll hit create new form, not a landing page, inline. And now it's up to you what you want to do. If you want a really slim newsletter opt-in, I would use the Claire form. If you want something more stylized, you can pick from any of the options that you see here. Um, for the website itself, if it's not a pop-up, um, the thing that I like to use is something like this one, the Pine form. And so here you can change this text um, you can add an image here of, so let's see. Oh, yeah, actually, that was better. Of the freebie, the gift that you're going to be giving your customers. And then here, I do like to add custom field, first name and email address. If you want last name, you can do that as well. I would have to add that as a thing. That will be another tutorial, um, another step. So we're just going to delete that for now. So first name, email address, the subscribe button. Customize the colors. And then my buttons, I usually do subscribe, all caps. So now this is our freebie newsletter opt-in. So we hit save, publish, share, copy this. And then on the site, all you need to do is come in and hit edit. Um, this is a 7.1 website. If you have a 7.0 website, it might look a little bit different. We're gonna delete the Squarespace one and we're gonna type in code here to add in a code box. And all we need to do is hit the pencil icon and paste in the code. Oops, sorry, I grabbed the wrong one. You don't want the share link, you want the HTML code. So if you type something in, you paste it, it doesn't look like a lot of text. That's the problem. All right, you see here, it's in there. Now I just gotta make it bigger. Um, to make sure it's centered in Squarespace, what you need to do is make sure this these blue lines are flush to the actual opt-in form and then just center it based on the squares. So that looks about centered. And then we'll bring this blue box up and then reduce this. All right, so now if I hit save and exit. Now you can see the forms in here. We just need to get rid of a little bit of space here. Let's see if there's anything else we can do. Looks like it won't let me. So we'll add a bit more space to the top and see if that evens it out. A little bit better, makes for a big section. So we're just making sure it evens out. All right, so now it's floating in there. It's here on the site. If you want something that's a little bit smaller, you can go ahead and delete this option. And what we're going to do instead is choose the Claire form. So where I did before is I went in here, create new form, inline form. We'll do the Claire form. I already have one set up, so I'm going to just grab it. This is the Claire form. Click on it. Save and publish. So let's grab that code. And now when we're in here, again, I need to have that code block. Let's 
save and exit. We'll see what that looks like. All right, so that's in there. That looks pretty nice. So now we don't have the text though, so we need to add the text in there. So if I move this all the way over here, I can go ahead and add a block text. Subscribe for the free guide, whatever I call it. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Save and exit. All right, so here you have it. You can do a lot more here by moving this around. You can put text on top of it. You can still add an image. This just takes a little bit more effort to sort of getting everything into place than using the other type of form that has the image and everything on it. So it's up to you which one you prefer to use, but that is two ways you can sort of style the ConvertKit form and have it end up on your Squarespace website. If this video is helpful, please give it a like. And as always, you can subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future tutorials. Thank you.